Over 240,000 Namibians are estimated to be HIV positive, though only 78% of them know their status, while 171,000 are said to be on treatment. The regions with the highest prevalence rates are Zambezi at 23,7%, Omosati at 17,4%, and the two Kavango regions, which both stand at 17%. Next is the Oshana region at a prevalence rate of 16%, while Ngwena at 15,6%, Kunene at 9,7%, had up at 8%, then Omaheke at 7%. The Deputy Health Minister is hopeful that with everyone's support, Namibia will be able to attain the UN Triple 90% campaign to help it control the spread of the virus by 2030. I should also highlight the HTS uptake coverage increase and our target gap became narrower. The program has since witnessed a number of pragmatic challenges, including a decline in HIV cases finding over the last three to four years, gender and age disparities affecting the uptake of the HTS, facilities HTS remain, at the facility level, HTS remain poorly as assessed by adolescent, accessed by adolescent girls, young women, men, couples, and key population. To Women the remain the most infected at 16,9%, while the figures for men stand at 10,9%, according to a 2013 local report. Director of Special Programs Anna-Marie Nishke says the new guidelines are vital for policy drafters to take a proactive, innovative, and tailor-made approach to the new dynamics of the virus. The DHS data we had in 2007 and six. It said that 55% of women reported ever tested for HIV and received the results in the last 12 months. The same results in the 2013-14 DHS Plus showed that we had an improvement from 55 to 83% of women who were tested and received the results. Then we had 34% of men reported ever tested for HIV we also had an improvement to 64% of men that were tested and received the results in the last 12 months. A new survey on the prevalence of the virus will be released by mid-July. Kahipa Kanji, NBC News, Vinduk.